I think the highest purpose of life for anyone, whether you're a leader, whether you're a CEO, is your life on your terms creates that piece of fulfillment. I think it's an important distinction. And I talked to some of my CEOs about this. We look at money and we budget for money. We have budgets inside of our, our companies. We have personal budgets and we're intentional about how we spend our money because it's a finite resource. And yet with time, we're constantly just allowing time to slip away. And so if we treated time like we did money, you would change the dynamic of achieving the things that you want to get done again and again and again. I've never done it in minutes. I've always done it in there's 168 hours in a week. And, you know, if you're going to sleep seven hours, that's what I go after it's 49. And you start to break down lunches behind that and dinners. And, you know, at the end of it, it's like, okay, how much time am I actually spending on the things and the pursuits that I want to go take? And so it's just an analogy that I've used with, with people to get them to go like, oh, that's right. I do. When I go to the grocery store, I can't spend $107 if I only have a hundred. Right. And so getting people into that mindset of using time as a tool, just like we use finances to create freedom for fulfillment, right? Same thing with time. We should be aligned and intentional. To your point, we talk about conscious intention. I think the highest purpose of life for anyone, whether you're a leader, whether you're a CEO, is your life on your terms creates that piece of fulfillment. And I think that's what you're trying to, to get people, you know, rattle the cage on. Don't just let the 41 million minutes walk themselves out of your life. It's what are we doing with those minutes to create that unlock for you to be successful? Agreed. That's a wonderful analogy, but I'm less focused on success. For me, happiness is success. So, so everyone defines success differently. And one of the things that I'm very deliberate about here is, is success may very well be raising a family, may very well be being there in the final years when a loved one was around, it may very well be studying some area of interest without necessarily a, a particular degree or, or a, you know, I think we as a society have these certain built-in, you know, successes, an MBA, a PhD, successes, making it to the top of a company, success is, you know, keep filling in the blank. For me, one of the fundamental tenets of the, of the book and of the philosophy is just be happy every day. I want to make the world a happier place. It's one of those things that I thought about and I challenge everyone on the phone. Like, how would you disagree with that? Almost anyone else you've had on over the last however long you've been doing this, there's probably two sides here, right? Someone's going to talk about this particular management technique, or someone's going to talk about this budgeting technique. Goes, eh, that, that's a good idea, but but you know, here's a different way to do it. How could you argue with making the world happier? How can you argue with living a happier, more fulfilling, grateful life? To me, it's so simple, and that's part of it. You know, one of the things that I suspect is when people listen to this and they hang up, they're going to be like, you know. It's kind of simple. I'm not sure that that there was some big major, like the point is that it is so simple that it is sort of so practical, but we don't do it. You know, one of the things I think about is, is that th there's so much energy and focus on physical health, right? We go for annual physical exams. We exercise, we, we think about what we eat. How often do people think about their mental health? By the mm -hmm. way, I want to be very careful here. I'm not a mental health practitioner. I'm, I'm not providing mental health advice, but how often are we proactive in thinking about, well, what's going to make me happy? What's going to make me fulfilled? What's going to make me feel good? It's great that, that I went and I lifted weights and my muscles are big and strong and so on and so forth. But if I'm miserable here, who cares? I'd much rather, and I bet you almost everyone on the call would much rather be happier here and weaker here. But we as a society don't spend a lot of time on that. That's part of my mission and part of what I'm trying to accomplish. <laughs>